Whoa, slid too far. I'm scared. Ah. Forgot to put the guard back on and go <laughs> right on top of her. Oh. That's just for added flea protection. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reacting to some of the worst DIY TikTok fails. I don't know if you're on the same TikTok as me, but my TikTok for you page is filled with all of these DIY at home grooms that the end result sometimes I'm like, ugh. So the first video I have for you is at QueenVC84. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's Friday. We don't go to school on Fridays. So I have a new project. And that is I'm going to groom my own dog. So I have an Aussie Doodle and it costs anywhere from the, the starting rate for a groom is like $120. I have paid $165 and I'm done because they need to be groomed. <laughs> Like seriously, every three months is what I've been doing. And honestly, that's too long. I do brush her every day, every other day when her hair is as long as it is right now, I brush her every day. But now she needs a groom and I'm not spending $165. So I spent about $60 and I bought all the things you need. So I bought this $60. apparatus. That's great. I've seen it in the grooming salon. So I bought that. My mother-in-law already had these An Andis or Andes clippers and I bought that blade. I already have my doodle brush and I just attached it to my table. I moved my table out from my bar area and attach towel. We're going to do that. Anyways, the first thing you have to do is you have to brush them out completely and I am going to groom her in parts because the blade does get hot. Now we have to find her. Luna. Luna. I found her. Luna. <laughs> Come here. Tell me to go brush your hair. And you need to have treats on hand. Look ready. Yeah. Are you going to lay down for me? You want to try to do this? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> How do you do this? Why? I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, no. Bruh. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I definitely don't think she looks too bad, but she does not look good. And we're lucky though because she's curly and she's black, and now I just need to give her a bath along with that little scrubby guy. Oh Anyways, boy. At least she's not going to be matted. So there's that. Uh, -huh. uh yeah. So there is that. At least she is not going to be matted. And she's right. She's black and she's curly coated. So it's like a way more forgiving coat than some other, like, especially like drop coats. Oh my God. Like you can see every little line in those coats. So she is lucky for that. It looked like it went okay. Her technique was interesting. Um, it looks like she got the hang of it though, because... Uh, it looked more cut than when she was trying to do the leg there. Like she wasn't pressing the blade down. Um, like you actually have to push it against the skin. She was kind of just like skimming the surface. So yeah, that was a little comical. <laughs> and I'm sure we've all been there. Even like the start of my grooming career, I'm sure I was a lot more nervous about, you know, doing it now. I just like, <laughs> you know, I liked her whole setup. When she said $60, I was like, no way. No way she got clippers. No way she got a table. No way she got scissors. Like in no world is it going to cost you $60 for that. Nope. Uh, so the clippers were borrowed. That's important. She got the blade. So that's uh, about 20, 30 bucks, 40, depending on quality and where you get it from. Um, the arm. So arms can be pretty cheap too. You're looking anywhere from like about the same price range, I would say. Um, so 30 and 30, that makes sense. She must have scissors on her own. She didn't mention scissors. She used her own table. Amazing. Love it. That's awesome. Uh, I didn't even think about clipping an arm to a table, but that is a really efficient way to, to do it. Um, so yeah, a lot of great things in the video. Haircut though, 
It was interesting.、Uh, we didn't get to see it happen, so I don't know what she did in terms of like the head, the feet, and stuff. But it was a little smidgen, a tiny bit, if you will, uneven. So, <laughs> yeah, not the worst, but not the best. Next up, we have a video by at d underscore Nunez. New New Nunez Nunez. I don't know how to say that.、Um, and I can see right off the bat. I haven't clicked play yet, but、um, one is all is the exact same clippers from the last video that I did. So those must be a popular choice. It seems like I'd never heard of the brand, and、uh, it, it seemed like it came with the clippers, an adjustable blade, and and a clip comb. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Oh. oh no 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 no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs>、uh, it's, a, it's a bit patchy. I don't know what's going on with his mouth there. He's got like shaved right here, but not so much on the cheeks.、Um, feet I can see are not done. <laughs> Bruh. Oh yeah, but he probably doesn't notice. Dogs don't really notice, so it'll grow out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming up next, I have a video by at the average wife Oz. Is that how you say that? A U S Oz, like Australian. I'm assuming. Today we gave Oscar a massive haircut. So I actually used to pay someone to do this. Like I used to take him to a groomer、um, every eight weeks, or maybe probably eight to twelve weeks. But then on TikTok, I was seeing all these dog groomers all talking about like their icks or clients that they hate, and all、oh, the amount of times I fell into that category. <laughs> so Oscar has long hair, like he's an English Springer Spaniel, and under his, like his underarm pits, I guess you'd call it,、um, always gets knotty, and just behind his ears, like places I can't brush. Without、yeah. kind of hurting him, so I don't. <laughs> they get naughty, and groomers fucking hate it. Like they're always like, "This is my ick. If you don't professionally groom your dog, don't come here." So now I don't. Like so, I do、oh、it myself, my and it looks one hundred percent like a botch job because it is. Like it just <laughs> made the whole situation worse for my dog. But I mean, it's got the job done. I don't think he cares what his hair looks like. He's、oh. still a handsome boy. Then we went for、oh. a walk, and I did a leather box drop to try and get more business for my hub. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna talk about this here. <laughs> um, so I've seen those those TikToks as well, where where groomers talk about like their like ick clients. I've seen hairdressers do it as well. Um, it's probably more prevalent than even just those two careers. But yeah, there are a lot of things that you know irk, especially across the board,、uh, certain people, but. You know, and I, I laughed a little when she said that she fell into that category. But like, don't we all? I, I've heard some where I'm like, oh shoot, like I definitely do that.、Oh. <laughs> just, I think the one thing with groomers is like, you know, if you hear that, just just try and listen. I guess it's like with anything. Whenever I hear things, I'm like, ooh, I guess I won't do that anymore. I wouldn't say she says like, oh, they hate me, but like, we don't. We don't. We probably don't, unless your dog is like awful, and you're awful. That's probably like the only circumstance where that groomer is just like, "Oh, I hate this person." But generally speaking, you're not hated. Especially, you say you come like eight to twelve weeks, which is pretty good, especially for a spaniel. Like, that's not bad at all. So, yeah, I don't know. It was okay. I liked how her husband was acting at the grooming table, though. Like, that's. I mean, if you, you know, do what it takes, right? Next up, we have a video by Thumper the Multi Poo at Thumper the Multi Poo.、Um, right off the bat, his haircut gone wrong. So let's see. <laughs> I hope it's not so bad. It looks like it's not so great in the picture. Oh, haircut gone wrong. Oh yeah, it's a smidgen. I mean, it's very short. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It looks like you use like whatever blade came with it. So maybe if you got one, it's probably a ten blade or something, which is short. Especially on white dogs, they are unforgiving. Like、uh, even sometimes like a seven looks really short on a on a white dog. So 
Yeah, and the face wasn't done. I could see you trimmed it <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. If it's, one side's a little. Yeah. Oh, that's. <laughs> Next up is a video by at court Z C C zero U R T Z I E E court Z. I think that's how you say it. All right. We're looking at a, a DIY fail. My toxic trait is thinking that I can do everything myself. I'll miss Me too. it big time. <laughs> My dog, Carolina, she needed a haircut. What can I do? Obviously I can do it myself. Yeah. Razor, check. Okay. Different kinds of shears, check. So giving her a haircut, all's going well. Have the guard on to the proper length. Okay. Go to like get some fur out of it. Forgot to put the guard back on and go <laughs> right on top of her. Oh. Will she ever forgive me? Oh my gosh, what do I do now? Look at that. Yeah. She oh. is so ashamed. What do I do now? Like, I have to put her in a shirt to, like, cover it up. Like, a doggy shirt? <laughs> no, but, really, what do I do? Scale, scale to 1 to 10. How bad is that? Oh, that's a 10. That's a 10. That is a difficult thing. <laughs> it happens to groomers, too. It really does. You just forget. You're, like, busy. You take it off. Maybe you're doing some pads. Whatever you're doing. And then you don't put it back on. And, oh, my God. Yeah, you end up with a line. I've only done it once. Once, a long time ago. So I feel you, girl. Yeah, and mine was not in as bad a, of a spot. It was less obvious. In her case, either letting it grow out or shaving it completely with that length or a length close enough where it blends it better is really one of your only hopes. You can try and blend it, but her dog, it looks like it has a double coat, which hot debate, by the way, for whether or not you should shave them down. But regardless, she did it, so it's done. But uh, yeah, that is extremely hard to blend on that type of coat. Like if it was like a curlier coat, you might be able to like do something, but girl, there's no hope. That's a 10 out of 10. That's, that's bad. That's bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. It is bad, though. Next up, there is a video by Cortlin underscore. At Cortlin underscore. I made my dog look absolutely crazy because I tried to groom him at home by myself. I think I've bathed Max three times myself because he always goes to the groomer, but he can't go until after August 7th because that's when he goes to the vet to get his annual shot. So he can't get groomed Why until he gets the shot. But Max smells like Cheeto puffs. Like he smells bad and I could not take it anymore. <laughs> Luckily, I have one of the happiest dogs ever. So he doesn't mind getting a bath, but this is where I fucked up at. I got them scissors and I went ham. <laughs> He's like, woo child, the ghetto. I have never, ever, ever had this happen before. Where are the groomers? And I had to cut the little hair around his wee wee. We were both very uncomfortable now this is the worst part because me and max fight every day when i brush his teeth because i do brush my dog's teeth every day and y'all should too because their teeth are gonna fall out and they won't be able to eat so i bathed him with this medical shampoo that you have to leave on for 10 minutes it helps with like parasites and i thought he would be tripping because max does not like the water but he was all right and then i use a mix of dawn apple cider vinegar and water that's just for added flea protection i added the medical shampoo again because i don't know it just makes me feel better i don't know we sat for 10 more minutes don't judge me for doing this on my bare mattress. My sheets were in the wash, but this was the longest part, blow drying. It takes forever, uh, and he don't like the air. He really was not feeling this at all. And this is the final look. He looks pretty crazy, and I think he knows he looks crazy, but it's okay because his <laughs> hair is going to grow back, and he's so cute, and I love him so much. He said, Mom, I love you, but I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. That face was a little smidgen uh, uneven. <laughs> well, you know, she's right. Hair's going to grow back. And, you know, she's getting out the boogers and stuff, which is, I'll tell you this. It's easier. You get them wet, get them in the, like, you know, get the boogers soaking. Maybe you put on a little bit of a face wash if you have one, rinse it, and then get in there with, like, a little comb. They usually come right out once they're wet. Way easier. Cutting them is a little bit more dangerous. I wouldn't recommend that. And also, 
smidgen of judgment for doing it on your bare mattress because that is messy and dog hair gets in everywhere. So at least put a sheet on there or like a towel, or something. Just cover it up. Don't don't do it on the bare mattress. Yeah, that was also. I'm not I'm not down with the apple cider vinegar thing, especially if it's unnecessary. I don't know. Did he have fleas? He might have had fleas. I don't know. But that was would not recommend. Okay, next up is a video by Ellen Corbin. Um, so I now understand why I pay $150 a month uh, for Ziggy's haircut, okay? You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh. Fatality. <laughs> oh. I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. I like it. He's got a mohawk. Oh man, just the way she's dying laughing. Oh, at least you all can laugh at yourselves. That's funny. But yeah, you see, it's uh I mean, you can do it at home for free. Well, not for free. You gotta buy the stuff to do it. But once you have that, it's free and your time, which I guess is technically not free. I mean, but either way, cheaper. So she said she pays, what, 150? 150, 160 bucks for her usual grooming, which seems expensive until that happens. But <laughs> yeah, you can do it for free. It's just gonna look a little bit, you know, not so great, especially in the beginning, but, or you can pay someone to have it professionally done and it'll look better. Uh, you know, <laughs> apples and oranges. Next up, we have a video. Next up, we have a video by K Ellie, spelled K A Y E L L I E E. So two E's on the end for her. So I gave my dog a bath. That went fine. But I'm trying to groom him myself. And the body he's okay with. But his face is what he really doesn't like. <laughs> Y'all. Oh what have oh. I done to my dog? <laughs> See? Oh, oh my no. gosh. What did I do to you? What did I do? Who is this? <laughs> Oh, okay, we're gonna no. give ourselves a little grace because his ears aren't dry. He won't let me dry his face, but it's giving it's a lot. What is what is this piece of hair over here? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I should have listened to everyone and took you to the groomer. <laughs> that piece of hair on the face. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Um, he looks like a puppy though. So puppy grooms are hard they are hard because they're scared and they're wiggly and they're puppies and they've never done this before so you I mean she's right give yourself some grace though like even drying their faces it's, it's very difficult so i get it girl i do but uh yeah it'll it'll grow out it's fine <laughs> it's fine everything's fine oh yeah this is fine Next up is a video by Ran the Brand. Oh. <laughs> oh no. What happened there? No. <laughs> Please, no! He looks uneven. He does. Did you not press hard enough? He looked like he was matted too. You were like brushing him. I don't know what occurred there. Last but not least, we have a video by at TXYang1. Hi, doll. You like your new haircut? <laughs> I like your bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Karen. <laughs> you can fix that. Like, it's a... Like, sometimes when I groom dogs, they look like that at first, right? Until you keep cutting. <laughs> you have some thinning shears. You can really thin out the sides, and it'll look less like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> I'm not the monster here. You are. 
that is it for today. That is all the TikTok hair fails that I have for you. Um, if you find any, tag me in it. Shoot me a comment down below if you know of one. You can feel free if, you know, you have a, a hair fail for me. Maybe it's one of your own. Um, but I would be happy to take a look at it and see what I think. Maybe I can help you fix it. Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>